So hi everybody and welcome to this week's video of RBX Excel videos. In this video we are going to create this beautiful line chart where two lines are compared to each other with a data label with a difference with a nice arrow in between. If you like the video please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel to watch a lot more of my videos. So in this video we are going to create this beautiful chart where you see two lines and an arrow between the lines with a data label that shows the difference between the values on each month. I have a sample table here with inflation rates from 2023 and 2024 and I'm going to use that to create this beautiful chart. We're going to make this chart from scratch on sheet 2 and you already see I need some helper columns. So first we are going to create the data for this helper columns. The column average is basically the average between these two values in 23 and 24. That is to determine the middle point between the lines where the data label has to come. So it's an easy formula, equal sign, average, select these two cells, closing bracket, press enter. The next column we create is the plus column. Here's only a value if the 24 value is greater than the 23 value. So we're going to type equal sign if, opening bracket, the 24 value is greater than the 23 value. Then I want the 24 value minus the 23 value. Or else I want nothing. Double quotation marks. Close your function with a closing bracket. Press enter. So here's nothing because the 24 value is lower than the 23 value. The minus is exactly the same but the other way around. So equal sign if opening bracket the 23 value is greater than the 24 value then I want the 24 value minus the 23 value or else I want double quotation mark is nothing closing bracket press enter and there you see it's minus 0.7%. The error bar. This function is basically to determine the length of the arrow between the lines. And for that we want the absolute difference between the two values. And I'm going to multiply it by 0.3 and I'm going to explain later why I did that. So equal sign ABS to get the absolute value, opening bracket, the 24 value minus the 23 value closing bracket and then multiply it by 0.3, press enter. Well, select all your four functions and pull them down for all the rows. So this is basically the data we need to create this chart. Next step is to go to the insert top on your ribbon, insert a basic line chart. I'm going to place it here, make it a little bit bigger. And now we're going to add our data series. So right click in your chart. Click select data, click add, the series name is 2023 and the values are the values from 23. Press enter. We also add the values for the 24 series, click add, the series name again 24 and the values are the 24 values. Select them, click OK and click OK. These are basically the lines that we are going to compare with each other. So I'm going to format these lines to a light and dark green line. So select the 23 line, press Ctrl 1 on your keyboard to open the format data series menu. Go to the fill and line. I want a light green line with three point thickness. Select your 24 line, also go to the fill and line. And for this I want a dark green line with also three points thickness. Close this menu and this is basically the basis of your chart. I also want to adjust the vertical axis, so select it, again press Ctrl 1 and the minimum I'm going to set it to 0.035. And while I'm working with percentages I have to uh, note this in 0.035 for 3.5%. Press enter and this is my line, close this one. Well the next thing we need to do is add two more data series to our chart with a line that's going right between the two lines. So for that select your chart, right click, click select data and add another data series. I'm going to call this data series plus and the values are the averages. Click OK, click OK again. Now you see a gray line in between the two lines. 
we're going to use this to add the data labels between the lines. So select this gray line, click the plus sign, select the data labels. Now select one of the data labels, press console one, and I want a value from cells. And the value I want is the plus value. Click OK. I don't want this value and the leader lines. I'm going to place the data labels on the right side. You will see later in the video why I did that. The gray line itself, I don't want to see it. So select your line, go to the fill and line and select no line. Now I want to format the data labels. So select the data labels, go to the home tab on your ribbon. These are the positive data labels. So I want a dark green color. I want them bold and I want them a little bit bigger. Now we need to do exactly the same for the negative data labels. So again, right click in your chart, click select data, add another data series, and I'm going to call this minus. And the values are the same values as for the plus, because I want the same line. Select the values, click OK, click OK again, and now I have a yellow line in my chart. Exactly the same as the gray line we had. Select your line again. Click the plus sign, add the data labels, select the data labels, go to the label options. And again, I want a value from cell and now I want the minus column. Click OK. I don't want the value and I don't want the leader lines. And again, I'm placing it on the right side. Now I'm going to format the data labels. So go to the home tab on your ribbon. I want them dark red a little bit bigger and also bold. The yellow line, I don't want to see it, so select it. Go to the fill in line and select no line. Close this. And now you see my chart is looking a bit like the example I showed you. The only thing we need to add are the arrow bars for the arrows. And you can add the arrow bars on the plus or the minus data series. It doesn't matter which one you choose. I'm going to select the plus data series in this example. To add the arrow bars to the plus data series, I have to select the plus series and add the data labels. Well, the plus series is invisible, so I cannot select it to add the arrow bars. There's a little trick to select the plus data series. Just click in your chart, press console one to open the format menu. And on this little arrow here, you can select your plus data series. Select it. Now go to the plus sign and add the arrow bars. Now we've added the arrow bars and again click on this little arrow and select the plus arrow bars. Go to the arrow bar options. We want the arrow bar in both directions, both minus and plus. I want no cap and I want a custom value for the arrow bar. Click custom, click specify value and both the positive and the negative value are the arrow bar values. Just select them for both. Click OK. And now you see a line. The only thing we need to do is add the arrow. So go to the fill in line and I don't want a begin arrow type. I only want an end arrow type and I'm going to select this arrow for that. The last thing I'm going to do is to, to make the arrows green. This is basically the chart we want to create. We're going to do some little formatting. Um, I don't want the grid lines, so select it, press delete on your keyboard. I don't want an outline on my chart, so select your chart, go to the format menu on your ribbon, go to shape outline and select no outline. I also want the month on my horizontal axis. So for that, I'm going to right click in my chart, click select data and the horizontal category axis labels. I click edit and I select the month. Click OK, click OK and you see the months are on the horizontal axis. I want them uh, to be green and bold, so select it. Select the green color, make it bold and one bigger. Also for the vertical axis, select it, make it green, bold and one bigger. Now we make the chart a little bit bigger. The last thing we can do is add a title to a chart. So select your chart, click the plus sign, select the chart title. I'm going to name this chart inflation rates 2023 versus 2024. I'm going to make my text green 
bold and a little bigger and i'm going to place my title here on the left side the last thing we need to do is hide these helper columns but i cannot just hide them because my chart will be ruined there's one setting i need to adjust in my chart to hide these helper columns so right click in your chart go to select data click hidden and empty cells and click the checkbox for show data in hidden rows and columns click ok again click ok and now i can safely hide these four helper columns so this is the way you can create this beautiful chart with the differences between two lines so this is how you create this beautiful line chart where differences are shown between two lines i hope you learned a lot and that you can create your own beautiful line chart with differences now if you liked the video please give the thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel to watch a lot more of my videos thanks for watching